Canada is the second largest country in the world by land area, edging out the United States by just over 60,000 square miles. Despite its massive swath, it is among the planet's least populous, with just over 39 million Canucks calling this northern nation home. Canada is made up of 10 provinces and 3 territories, and for mountain bikers, the western province of British Columbia most certainly reigns supreme as far as destinations go. BC has no shortage of legendary zones to explore, and there seems to be an endless stream of world-class athletes that, that come from that scene. But as we have established, Canada is a very large country and BC ain't the only show in town. Quebec is actually the largest province in the country, and they've been working very hard over the years to elevate their own scene, and there are dividends coming through as more and more people seem to take note of that. Quebec is home to one of the most revered World Cup venues on the planet, and not very far from that mountain is one of my own personal favorite places to ride on the planet. Bonjour, je m'appelle Bryce Sherbach, à voici underexposed Santiers du Moulin. Santiers du Moulin is a vast network of trails on Lac Beauport, a suburb of the province capital city of Quebec. The region has decidedly European vibes and embraces outdoor recreation as a cultural staple. Santiers du Moulin is split between two sectors, the original SDM sector and the more recently opened Maelstrom sector. Thousands of volunteer hours have gone into these trails from groups such as LB Cycle, and when paired with world-class professional trail builders, you end up with incredibly creative trails and an insanely talented pool of local riders. I was fortunate to be able to sit with Santiago du Moulin supervisor, Julien Leveste, as well as Nick Save, director of Quebec City Mountain Bike, to dive a bit deeper into the story behind the trails and get a better understanding of what makes Santiago du Moulin so special. Yep, uh, I'm Julien Levesque. Uh, I'm general manager here at Santiago du Moulin. My name is Nicolas Sauvé. I actually don't work for Santiago du Moulin. I work for Quebec Mountain Bike. So Quebec Mountain Bike is an alliance that was created uh, 10 years ago and the goal was to promote our destination, Quebec City and our trail center as a destination for bike enthusiasts. I'd say that uh, Quebec City is a, well, it's a smallish city uh, and well, it's French speaking so <laughs> it's pretty distinct from the rest of Canada and uh, what uh, is distinctive about Quebec City is that uh, it's pretty compact and then it's easy to get out of, uh, out of town. So in about 20-25 minutes you're uh, deep in the woods. I'm not originally from Quebec City. Uh, I moved here about four years ago. I was working as a consultant back in Montreal, kind of questioning what I, COVID hit. Everyone kind of wanted to, to have the opportunity to stop and think about what they wanted to do. And my uh, girlfriend and I wanted to get closer to the outdoor. We're really outdoor enthusiasts, uh, mountain biking, whitewater kayaking, skiing, all that, all that jazz. And uh, we thought about going to BC, uh, a little too far from family, pretty expensive, the housing is pretty expensive. So we kind of landed on Quebec City as a good spot to live and raise a family. And man, life is good here. As you're about to see, my time at Santiago du Moulin was a largely slippery affair as I dodged thunderstorms throughout the week while trying to film. A few quick notes about that. Thunderstorms are common in this part of the world during this time of year, but they are rarely all day affairs, so don't let that ruin your day. The rocks here provide a lot of grip, which is obviously quite useful in the rain, but traction is a relative concept and regardless of the porous granite, it's still best to exercise a bit of caution when riding in the wet on what are very technical trails here. And finally, while the trails remain open during my time in town, always check for closures before planning your ride at Santiers du Moulin. Mountain biking at saint du moulin is still pretty young. Uh, it started maybe for real about 12 years ago and it was all uh, volunteers. So the terrain was there and uh, a couple of volunteers just uh, had the idea of building some trails. It was pretty basic at first and then uh, during the years it built uh, up on itself for maybe the first 
first five years, it was pretty small still. And then there was a big boost when the uh, Lac Beauport city, the city we're in, uh, they, bought the, they bought the terrain, they bought the land here. And then it allowed to uh, a, a bigger growth and a faster growth. And uh, yeah, we paid some uh, company to do professional trail building as well. And then it just, it, it went uphill for, uh, yeah, for the last five years, I'd say we, we added maybe 10 kilometers a year. Yeah, something like that. Uh, part volunteer work, part uh, professional trail building. Uh, we have a big trail crew as well at saint du moulin uh, Most of the new projects are uh, collaboration between the volunteers and uh, our trail crew. And uh, so yeah, it's been uh, ex exponential growth for uh, the past five years, I'd say. Now for the past maybe, I would say like three years, I really feel like SDM or saint du moulin is really like what it, people know and kind of remember. I would say mainly from those those really appealing trails that you see at the Maelstrom, like Slab City, which is completely unique for the, the east side, like a, two, like in a kilometer and a half of, of Slab. I'll say like, SEM is amazing, has amazing trail, but the other four other trail center and Quebec, City, Quebec Mountain Bike Alliance also offer something really unique. I think it's a good mix of, they all have something to offer. To something so it's a good good balance but as the end for sure it's been attracting we see a lot of Vermonters in the parking lot uh, I was myself at Killington two weeks ago and oh you're from Quebec as Santier du Moulin so people back a couple years ago it would have been either Mont Saint Anne or VBN and now it seems that SDM or Santé du Moulin is like the that thing that people remind and remember of. As much as the SDM side is fun, I think that the uniqueness of the Maelstrom side is what's make it special. While SDM have a professional crew of trail builders and often contract out projects to other pros, this place and much of the rest of Quebec's riding wouldn't be possible without a contingent of dedicated volunteers. Since 2014, LB Cycle have been building and maintaining trails throughout the Lac Beauport region and have also been actively cultivating a grown community of riders in town. In addition to them, the QCMTB girls are another nonprofit group focused on guiding and coaching clinics for the enormous contingent of lady shredders in and around Quebec City. I mean, uh, I love my job and mountain biking because, yeah, uh, mostly riding bikes in the woods <laughs> for myself. But then again, uh, it's mostly a way to just go outside, uh, think creatively to uh, use nature for a creative purpose in a cool way. Um, and then there's just the people revolving around bike. Everyone here decided to like make it work and we all in some way decided to reduce our income or like everyone made that decision of being mountain biking and the, to be close to that that world we are all passionate about and I just want to I that's why we do it and I want to work with people that are passionate about mountain biking. Trails have been built up by the community, the trail center have been started by the community uh, and by volunteers. It's the biking but then it's the people around the biking as well yeah.
funny thing to have so many superlatives on the tip of your tongue that it's a struggle to focus on any one of them when thinking about a place like Santiago de Moulin in La Cupor. It's all of the things. Beautiful, charming, fun, eye-opening, refreshing, the list goes on and on. All of these are true though, and I suppose that's what happens when you build some incredible and progressive trails in the shadow of one of Canada's most historic cities. More than anything else, the people who call this home are what set it apart from so many other parts of the world. I've been coming here for almost a decade now, and I consider myself very lucky to call many of them friends. These people are the reason for maybe the most important superlative of them all. Chez Wallon de Chez Wall.